Hey everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing very well for the second movie of the night. And it is your guys' pick with 57%. I am reviewing the 1983 movie Satan's Baby Doll, a.k.a. La Bimba di Satana. Yes, this... <laughs> well... This movie is only on for 74 minutes, so <laughs> it's not as bad as what you'd probably think. So, obviously, I can only show you whether it's non musicized and whether it's non-naked, because this movie is going to have a lot of tits and ass in this movie. So, I'm going to review this as best as I can, because, yep, there is a porn diva in this called Marina Hedman. And trash movie queen Maria Angela Giordano. Oh, yeah, this is also directed by Mario Bianchi, also known as Alan W. Cools. So, yes, so we are we are actually reviewing this. I have watched this before and found it pretty cool, <laughs> yeah, to say the least. So, obviously, we'll do. Halfway through, show you as long as there's no nudity. And then, because it's only 74 minutes. And then we'll do a review with this at the end. So, yeah. Because I can't even show you the back because it's full of tits and ass, basically. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's do this. See you guys in a bit. Ciao, ciao. Naughty boy. Look what he's doing. <laughs> He's injecting himself. Bad man. Bad boy. And there's the nun and then he's in a wheelchair coming down the corridor. Yeah. And then he looked through with the nun. So, yeah. Right, I've got to go now because copywriting. Bye bye. Yeah, I had to switch off on the quick because she was just taking her dress off. And obviously, I'd get a big, massive copyright. She's going full fledged naked now, so. Yep, so I'm going to watch this now and I'm going to tell you my thoughts at the end. <laughs> A bit weird so far, but that's to expect for this. You've got to give it a chance. You've got to give it a chance with some peeping toms about <laughs> watching over nuns getting undressed. Yep, typical of these sort of films, so yeah. Catch you for my review at the end. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Hey, I'm back for this second review. <laughs> the second movie, which was Satan's Baby Doll, which is also known as La Bimba di Satana. Um, basically, it's about the daughter who's called Miriam, and she's basically been possessed. Fuck off. <laughs> yep, that's the ex-husband telling me to keep down and I'm not. He can kiss me ass. So anyway. Let me get to what I was saying. So, Miriam is the daughter to the mum who's away, who passed away. And um, basically now the daughter's possessed by the mum. So... Basically, she's seeking revenge by driving her kin to the edge of sanity. And in this crypt beneath this, beneath this gothic castle where they're all living at, evil's lurking ready to whip the residents into an orgy of desire and bloody murder. So let's get back to Miriam, who's the daughter. 
So Miriam is um, basically taking each member of the castle to a mum. And sort of like transforms into a mum. Like the spirit of a mum and starts killing people. Um, in one of the scenes, like the he's like the, the groundskeeper. He gets killed by a mummified corpse. Um, the guy that you saw in the scene who drugs himself, he was killed by the mum, who basically, because he was seeing her like, get away from me, get away from me. He fell off the, the banister and landed on the floor, crashed his head. Um, the guy that was in the wheelchair, um, she told him to walk to him. And he fell down the stairs, and obviously he's no longer here with us. Um, the doctor was killed by his own medicine. And then, obviously, the nun, who basically... <laughs> Listen to that twat. So, anyway... Um, as I was saying, the nun says to Miriam, I want to be with your mum, but just leave me alone. Like, I don't want anything to do with you. You go away and get, get free. So in the end, she gets with the mum. And the mum bear hugs her and all blood's coming out of her mouth. So squeezing her so tight so they can be together forever. And in the end, Miriam just walked. Hey, this twat. Hey, this twat here. Fuck you. <laughs> so anyway, so in the end, Miriam is just, she's finally free. Because they all thought that she was losing the plot. But it wasn't, it was just that Miriam was possessed by her mum and that's all it was. But yeah. But basically, all in all, I fucking loved this film. I fucking enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than the first two of last night and the first one of tonight. And I enjoyed myself that much. Do you really want to know? And yeah, I would watch this again. And I would recommend this to people. So yeah, 8 out of 10. I fucking love this. The story, the premise to it, how the girl was possessed and she was ordering a mum to do all these kills and how the kills were there was a bit of blood which is good and yeah the only thing is I felt that this, this should have been a tiny bit longer that's my only criticism of this movie it should have been a little bit longer I felt it was a little bit rushed in places but with that being said definitely recommend this to people and I would give this an 8, eight out of 10 yeah. And this was a movie that came out the year I was born. So yeah. 8 out of 10 for this movie. Yeah. Two down. One to go. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for the last one now. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And you'll know about that. In the final part of the video. So yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz. Turn that notification bell on and you'll get a brand new video from me very, very soon. So, stay gaudy, have unpleasant dreams, and I will see you all in the next review, which is the final review of tonight. Yes! Love it! Talk to you guys soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.